So you want to make your first million dollars online. However, this is what your life looks like right now. You're going to school every day, or you have to get up early to go to a meaningless job, but deep down you dream of something more. You feel like you're just missing out on life. You see all those guys on social media, myself included, living the dream life, and part of you is angry. You're angry because you want to be free too, but you have no clue where to start. When you get back from school or from work, you're so exhausted that quite frankly, the only thing that you want to do is to plop down on the couch and watch Netflix series. And honestly, Honestly, I can't blame you for it. But you see, if you want to change your life, you have to start somewhere. You're not going to wake up tomorrow and everything is going to be different. It doesn't happen like that. The scary thing that you need to realize is that life isn't going to stop. The same thing is going to keep happening over and over again. So in a way, the cycle of hell is going to continue unless you actually decide to break it. So where should you start? You see what a lot of people don't get is that success is not some magical event that takes place overnight. It's so easy to look at somebody, they have the big house, they have lots of supercars and you think they're so lucky. When in reality, they've been working their asses off for 15 years to get to that point. So you can look at somebody and think they're lucky, but in reality, you have no clue how much work and sacrifice it actually took to get there. Now the other day, there's a quote I stumbled upon and I really wanted to share it with you. Success is found in your daily routine. If you understand this, then I have no doubt you will become very successful at whatever it is that you do. People mistakenly think that the best writers, they are the ones with the most natural inspiration. Like people just assume that ideas naturally come to them, that they don't have to go out there and to search for ideas. In reality, the best writers, the best comedians, they're not waiting for some magic inspiration to enlighten them. Instead, they take control. They roll up their sleeves and they get to work. Writers spend hours trying to come up with new ways to phrase things. And the best comedians, they write jokes every day. I copied seven key habits from millionaires and billionaires and in this video, I'm going to share them with you because they have truly changed my life and I really believe that they can change yours as well. The first millionaire habit that I started to implement very early on was to exercise first thing in the morning. Morning. About a year ago, I started to get up at 5, up to 5.30 a.m. And one of the first things I would do is to go for a run. And fast forward to today, I eat breakfast and then I go to the gym straight ahead. I found that exercising first thing in the morning, it boosts my productivity levels like nothing else. It wakes me up and it forces me to do something challenging, something a bit painful, first thing in the morning. So it builds up a lot of momentum that is going to carry on throughout the rest of the day. When you've just done an intense workout session, I can guarantee that the last thing you feel like doing is just sit down on the couch and watch some Netflix or scroll on TikTok and Instagram. So I just shower, I eat something and then I get straight to work. So not only will exercising first thing in the morning make you healthier and keep you fit, but it is also going to sharpen your mind and to make you a lot more productive at work. Just think about it this way. What happens when you start your day by scrolling on TikTok or Instagram for 30 minutes? You're probably not going to be very productive or to have a great day when that is how you start your day. What you do as soon as you get out of bed, it sets the tone for the rest of the day. So if you can conquer difficult challenges from the get go, from the beginning, beginning of the day, you will see that this will naturally carry on for the rest of the day. Now, another millionaire habit that completely changed my life was to decide beforehand and then to go into just execute without thinking. One thing that's holding back so many entrepreneurs and business owners is that they're always second guessing themselves. They start to take action, but because it takes time, they barely see results. In the beginning, it's normal, but because they don't see the results, they start to question everything immediately. They wonder, oh, am I doing something wrong? The thing that you need to realize is that oftentimes you're not doing anything wrong per Say. Rather, you just haven't been doing it for long enough. It's kind of like doing one workout, it's your first workout ever at the gym, and then you look in the mirror and you wonder, what am I doing wrong? Why am I not jacked? Obviously, it's silly, and you would laugh at somebody who just has that reaction. However, in business, this is the reaction that lots of entrepreneurs and business owners have without actually realizing it. Now, when you're in the army as a soldier, you're not allowed to question the orders of the higher ups. Your job is simply to execute on the strategy that is given to you. Imagine if every soldier was always questioning everything. It would be a complete mess because if they were to act on their own, no one would be coordinated. It's because they trust in the leader's judgment and they follow the strategy to the T that they can successfully carry on with their operations. So plan your day the night before and set three main tasks that you want to complete for the day. And when you get out of bed the next morning, you go into execution mode. Don't start to think, oh, but you know what? Maybe I could do this other thing instead. Because usually it's just your brain trying to trick you into procrastinating. You've got to realize that your brain is not wired to help you to reach your goals. Its job is to help you to survive no matter what, not to help you get in shape, not to help you become a millionaire. So this means that your brain wants to incentivize you to spend as little of your energy as possible. That's why we often find work boring or difficult, because in the short term, usually it doesn't grant us many rewards. All great things take time. So if you really want something, you will need to do whatever the hell it takes to get it, regardless of how you feel. Now, something else that I understood early on in my entrepreneurship journey is that you will often have to do more than what you thought. It's kind of like the concept of going the extra mile. In business, I've found this to be very true. You need to understand that for you to 
reach your goals, it's probably going to take you a lot more time, a lot more hard work, a lot more perseverance than you initially thought. The truth is that with social media, we have a completely distorted view of what it's actually going to take to get the results that we want. People sell you this dream that you're going to get super fit and look like a bodybuilder who's been lifting weights for 10 years in just one year or worst in just 90 days. And people claim that you can become a millionaire in just a few months, even if you have no experience and no skills. And while that claim is technically speaking possible, it's not going to be the case for 99.99999% of people. So it's probably not going to be the case for you. The truth is that when it comes to reaching a goal, there are so many variables to take into consideration. You cannot promise something to somebody for sure. It's not possible. Now, another millionaire habit that completely changed my life was to rethink my priorities. If you have a business, you need to make sure that your priorities are in the right order so that you can reach your goals. If you have a consulting business, for instance, most of your time should be spent on outreach and sales calls. And when I say most of the time, I simply mean that 80% of the time, you should be focusing on these things, not on something else, not on creating your logo or doing this other stuff, which is really just an admin task. Anything other than that, you want to delegate it or even eliminate it completely if that's a possibility, of course. A lot of people wonder why they're stuck, why they're not moving forward. The answer is because they've got their priorities all mixed up. When you begin your work day, you should complete the most difficult task first. Leave the shallow work or the less cognitively demanding tasks for the afternoon or when you have the least amount of energy. You need to eat the frog, essentially. This means that you need to attack your day by doing the most difficult task first. And that's exactly why the first millionaire habits that I shared with you, it was to exercise first thing in the morning. If you do that, you're already getting it out of the way. So you don't have the excuse of being too tired after a very long work day to just go and skip your workout. Also, like I said, it forces you to do something difficult, challenging, first thing in the morning. So when you sit at your desk and you open up your laptop, because you will have all that momentum from the workout, it's going to be a lot easier to get to work and to eat the frog. Now, you know, there's this concept of the dopamine detox that became really popular not too long ago, actually, in this self-improvement community. However, to be completely honest, what I've realized is that after completing successfully and also unsuccessfully many dopamine detoxes or monk mode protocols, what I've really noticed is that these things, they don't actually really work. Now, fair enough. If you are completely hooked on instant gratification and you cannot even focus for 30 minutes, then yeah, you could definitely benefit from doing some kind of a dopamine detox or a monk mode protocol because you're hyper stimulated. And if you remove some of the hyper stimulating activities in your life, you will only benefit from doing so. That said, if you try to just remove anything pleasurable in your life, anything that gives you enjoyment, it's a recipe for burnout and for failure. It's going to drive you insane. Believe me, I've tried. And it turns out that even when I was that extreme, my productivity levels were not crazy as people were claiming. If anything, it was the opposite. Because when all you do is just work and grind, you start to hate what you do and you lose your drive to keep pushing forward. That's why the millionaire habit that I implemented was to make sure that I have fun every day, that I look forward to every day. Now, different people will have a different way of defining what is fun and what isn't. I know that for lots of people, especially younger people, university students, they think that having fun is to go to the club or to drink, to take drugs. Personally, I don't think that's fun at all. I don't really see why that's fun. But like I said, we're all different. The same thing applies in any area of life. If you go to the gym every day, but you absolutely despise the workout program that you're following, it's going to be incredibly hard to stick to it long term. You will quit if you try to do something too drastic, excuse my French, but it's going to come and to bite you in the ass real soon. So make sure that you have fun every day. For some people, it's going to be hanging out with their friends at the end of the workday. For others, it's going to be propping down on the couch and watching their favorite Netflix series. At the end of the day, hustle culture fanatics and dopamine detox junkies have really pushed onto us this idea that all form of entertainment or pleasure is bad. However, in my opinion, what is really detrimental is to overdo it on these things. If you use social media to the point that it's destroying your attention span and you cannot focus for 30 minutes and do the work on your business, then yeah, obviously it's a problem. And in that case, it might be a good idea, a great idea, in fact, to limit your social media use. But for most people, there is simply no need to go down an extreme route and to cut out everything from their life. The only thing it's going to do to you is to make you burn out and to make you feel like life is meaningless. Now, something else that I can guarantee every millionaire does, and it completely changed my life, it was to follow routines. So I'm sure that you've heard of the concept of having a night routine or a morning routine. Maybe you even have one yourself. However, those are not the only types of routines that you can implement in your day-to-day -day life. I personally love to separate my day into three days. Day one is from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. This is where I go to the gym and I do two hours of focused deep work. I try to really do the hardest tasks in those two hours. Then, day two is from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. It can even be up to 6 p.m. It depends on the day. If I need to, I take a little break after lunch, maybe I take a nap, and then I go right back to work. And from 4 p.m. or 6 p.m. up till 9 p.m., I can do whatever I want. Usually during that time, I plan the next day and I just relax, have fun. This allows me to recharge my batteries so I'm 
I'm ready to crush another intense day. Every successful person will agree single-handedly that your success is found in your daily routine. Any professional athlete is going to tell you that it's not one single workout that is going to get you jacked. It's working out at least a few times a week for months on end that is really going to help you to get jacked. You can't expect to show up to the gym for one week and at the end of it to look like somebody who's been lifting for five years. It is never going to happen. And the same thing is true in business. You can't expect to reach the same level of somebody who has been in business for two decades while you have been in business for two months. It's not possible. You need to do the right thing, I'll grant you that. But you also need to do the right thing for long enough to get the results that you want. You can post one video on YouTube, it's easy. But for 99% of people, one single video, it's not going to make your channel blow up. That's a rarity. However, if you have uploaded 500 high quality videos, chances are your channel is going to blow up. At least one of these videos is going to propel your channel forward. So do not neglect the power of routine. Remember that success is found in what you do on a daily basis. In fact, I could take a look at your weekly or your daily routine and tell you where you will be in a few years from now. And I bet that my guess would be pretty accurate. Now, another thing that has been a true game changer for me, and I invite you to do it as well, is to go to bed early. Getting up early, it's easy. It's going to bed early that's actually difficult. And I can assure you, I'm not super excited to have to go to bed between 9 and 9.30 p.m. But if like me, you get up early, 6 a.m. or even earlier than that, you need to make sure that you get enough sleep. For sedentary individuals, it's usually going to be 7 to 8 hours of sleep. And for more active individuals, it's going to be anywhere from 7 up to even 10 hours of sleep. We're all different. So you really need to try things out and see how much sleep you actually need to feel good and to perform at your best. And getting up early has so many benefits. I personally love it. The only downside I can think of is that your social life, it might suffer a bit because you need to go to sleep early as well. But if you're trying to accomplish something big, especially in a short amount of time, believe me, it is very, very worth it. So I genuinely believe that these 7 millionaire habits can help you to change your life just like I have changed mine. Now, if you're interested in starting your own online business, but you don't know where to start, I have recorded a free video in which I analyze every popular online business model to figure out which one is the best for beginners. We take a look at the pros and the cons, and I'm also going to share with you the three-step process that you can use to start getting clients today. The link is in the description below if you're interested. And with that said, as always, I am waiting for you on the other side.